All right, class. This video is going to combine the techniques we just discussed, uh, gathering and sewing a taped seam. What we are doing is creating gathers in the middle of a piece of fabric, not on a seam, and using a piece of tape to hold those gathers in place. You're gonna need this sample piece with your four inch line drawn on it, a five inch piece of twill tape, a ruler, a pencil, some pens, and your trusty snips. First things first, I want you to take your piece of twill tape and mark those half inch turn backs that we marked on the last sample to finish off the edge. So I'm gonna put myself a little pencil mark there and another pencil mark there at half inch. I know where those fold now. I can go ahead and kind of crease them a little bit if I want to and give it some memory so I know where it stays. If you want to, you can take this over to the iron and press it. I'm gonna skip that step for now because I'm in a bit of a hurry. So I've taken my piece of twill tape. I have finished off my edges. Ta-da! <clears throat> and what we are going to do is gather this piece of fabric down. Now you're gonna wanna take a ruler and extend this line. I have been slightly misleading in the markings of this pattern. And just like with the gather, you're gonna wanna find the middle of this and the middle of the twill tape. So we're gonna fold in half to find our middle point. It's gonna be right there. Same thing with our twill tape. We're gonna wanna fold it in half and find our middle point. And it's gonna be right there. I'm gonna draw a mark on both of these pieces. There's my middle point of my twill tape and the middle point of my piece I'm gonna gather. Now what we're gonna do is gather this fabric to this piece of twill tape. So the first thing you need to do is run gathering stitches straddling this line. I'd put them about an eighth of an inch away from each side. Let's sew that. <clears throat> Again, don't forget to set your stitch length to a six or a five, something very big. And don't back stitch. See how I'm about an eighth of an inch or so away from that edge? Actually, that's closer to a quarter. It should be fine. You don't want to go much farther than this. Though. If you want to, you can set it up right with that little notch in your presser foot. I've got one. Don't forget to leave yourself some tails because <clears throat> it's gathering, so you're gonna need those tails. And I'm gonna sew the other side. Got those done now and your next step is to gather it to the piece of tape now just like we did last time and you want to line up the pieces of your tape see we've got our little center notch there that center notch is gonna match to this center notch here so I'm gonna start with that I'm gonna pin that down in place I've laid those right over top of each other and I'm gonna pin through all my fabric and stuff, just like that, right in the middle. Then I'm gonna take this folded down finished edge that we've made. See how that's folded down and finished off now? And I'm gonna tape it right to this edge over here, or pin it, excuse me, straddling that line. Should look like that. Same thing on this edge. Fold that edge down that we've got to finish off the edge and pin it right to the edge of the fabric. Try to keep your threads out of the way a little bit. It'll just help you not lose your mind. See how I've done that? I'm gonna pin there.
Now, what's left to do is gather down these two mountains. Same process we did last time. I'm gonna use these threads that I can see right here on the back. Remember, you wanna grab a matching pair, either both top or both bottom, and you just draw it down and distribute those gathers. Sorry for the screechy scratchy noise. It's just part of the deal, y'all. See how I did that? Same thing over here. My threads have gotten a little twisted on this side, so I'm gonna take a straight pin to separate them so I can make sure I'm getting the right one. Okay, I've got that top thread and I need that top thread. All right, two top threads, one mountain, and we're gonna gather it down. And spread some of those gathers over and gather a little bit more. All right, so at this point, I've got everything laying nice and flat. I just need to distribute my gathers better. Sometimes as you distribute gathers, your uh, gathering threads will come a little loose. Sometimes you wanna hold onto those. It can all just be tricky. This is some of the finesse. This, this is construction too, folks. We're just working harder with our hands in this class. Doing a little more advanced work. Now see how that's nice and gathered? Right in the middle of a piece of fabric. Imagine this was the back of a cardigan or something. Now for this, I'd say you can just follow your stitch lines to sew this down, and that's the next step. So bring your machine over. And we're gonna sew right where these marks are, and this should be hitting our tape. Don't forget to reset your stitch length to a three. And give it a whirl, see what happens. We are gonna back stitch. You're gonna kinda wanna control the gathers in place with your hands too. You're gonna wanna try to just like fold out of your way. I use both of my hands on either side trying to make it sit a little better. And back stitch at the end. And don't forget to do the other side. We're gonna come back, lay this down, and we're gonna sew this side. See, I'm holding everything flat with my hands like this. Back stitch and keep on sewing. And don't forget to back stitch at the end. And there, you should have a very nice gathered piece of fabric right in the middle. And if you look at your tape, you'll see our stitch lines running down both sides. And that is how you secure a gather in the middle of a piece of fabric. Like I said, um, imagine the back of a nice little pullover cardigan that has a little gathered detail in the lower back of it. That's kind of what you just created here. I'm gonna trim these threads. Don't forget y'all, trimmed threads are the best. Having untrimmed threads in your sampler will count off. There we go. That's how that should look when you're done.